Hello there. So it's been a bit of a long time. Well, just life's kind of happened and time's gone past. So there's no excuses. Um, just I apologise if you've been waiting to see some more videos. Hopefully you might like this one. So uh, anyway, today um, I'm smoking Dunhill Mixture 965. One of the things that happens or has happened because of EU regulations and different country laws is that I can't get hold of an awful lot of tobacco or good tobacco. Uh, so I have to take what I can get because uh, I can't get it delivered into this country. So uh, luckily I've been able to find a place where I can get easily a few different pretty good tobaccos that I'm okay with. Um, and that's what I have to deal with. So uh, just filling up this uh, baby here. This is actually my latest pipe. And uh, it's again from BJV Pipes. Uh, my friend Chris uh, makes these. Also known as Bubba J Vega, so I mentioned him in the last video. And uh, yeah, he had this, it's a quarter bent Dublin. You can see it's a beautiful piece of work. Mediterranean briar and a lovely hammered copper band there. I think this has become pretty much one of my favourite pipes to smoke, uh, kind of for good reason too. Uh, it's again pretty nice uh, and easy to smoke. Uh, just packing this up so it's funny there's loads and loads of different packing techniques that's all individual to every different pipe smoker what works for them and uh, I think over time I've been able to get mine so it actually works for me uh, uh, yeah, I really like this uh, Dunhill Mixture 965 actually, it's a uh, really nice creamy kind of flavour and uh, yeah, it's become a favourite for me to smoke. It's a bit of a shame because one of my favourite tobaccos I got from Denmark, uh, from my own blend, it was called Mr Nielsen and uh, yeah, I can't get it sent here so uh, Maybe one day I'll have to have a trip to Copenhagen and go and pick up a whole big batch of it. Anyway, where do I put my lighter? Hold on a second. Yeah, so from my last video, I had a few questions regarding uh, the hat that I wear, uh, where it's from, who makes it, and so on. Uh, so, actually this hat is made by a company called Hoxton Blocks, uh, based in the UK, made in England, handmade in England. Um, and it's the second hat that I've had from them. Uh, I've been really happy with both the hats that I've had so far. I'm always looking to see, am I gonna buy another one? Uh, and I probably will. Uh, this particular one's called the Lenny. Uh, really comfortable. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, so if you're after a good kind of Baker Boy, newspaper boy kind of cap, you should check out Hoxton Blocks. There's a variety of different uh, designs there, all slightly different. Um, and they're all. Uh, named after the owner's uh, like family. Uh, they've got quite a nice history and story to them. So uh, if you go and check out their website, I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, it's, it's a worthy read and uh, it's a pretty good small company. Uh, small companies are what I like to be able to kind of buy from. Yeah, so while I'm going on a little bit about pipe tobacco, I'll introduce you to something else 
that involves pipe tobacco as well and you wouldn't really imagine that it could. So I use an awful, I've used an awful lot of different beard oil products and uh, probably about a year ago, a year and a half ago, uh, I was introduced to a company called Barrel Brands and uh, really good company. Uh, it's run by the absolutely charismatic Jeremy Allen Stanton, um, super guy and uh, yeah, I started stocking their products in my own web store uh, because I believe in them so much. Um, the one thing that I really like uh, is that in quite a lot of their expressions uh, they include pipe tobacco. Uh, so any of you pipe smokers out there um, perhaps one of the key reasons why you like to smoke a pipe is because of the fragrance and uh, yeah these are just amazing. So uh, a particular favourite of mine for this time of year bringing in the autumn time you start thinking about cabins and uh, woodland and the fragrances you get from there and yeah there are an awful lot of uh, woodland type fragrances out there for beard oils uh, but I actually think that uh, these guys have come up with something a little bit different a little bit special because uh, I think that some of the old some of the other woodland fragrances are a little bit synthetic and they don't really evoke any kind of thought or feeling. Uh, so with Barrel Brands, uh, my favorite fragrance at the moment is called Cabin. You just see the label there. And this has oak, pine and cedar, all natural, added to the fragrance, which brings that nice woody kind of flavor to it. Um, but then, add a little bit of pipe tobacco into that and what's even better is then they're barrel aged for I think it's up to six months uh, in port casks which have previously finished bourbon so you can kind of imagine the nice sweet fragrances that come from that uh, evoking a real sense of feeling about you could perhaps be sitting in a cabin round a log fire it's uh, something a little bit different at least it is for me uh, so if you're watching this Jeremy cheers mate um, now what do we go on to next all right well I wanted to say a little bit about something to do with my my own work and my own store and uh, as example I've been playing around I have several different products of uh, wallets, my own designs uh, and I recently got hold of some uh, Pueblo leather uh, which is absolutely beautiful, lovely texture on it um, and it ages really really well and a whole new variety of uh, different colours so uh, this as example is my like kind of Sydney Plus there's only one of these available currently because uh, I've got a limited amount of leather uh, so it's a bit of a big boy really for the back pocket and uh, it adds in there you've got card pockets you can use this extra pocket here for, uh, for adding some more cards or you can put some change in there there's a secret pocket at the back maybe put your receipts in there and then I've added, which isn't in the normal Sydney, a place for your cash. And that all sits in nicely and uh, really happy with this design actually. And uh, it's been a pretty good seller for me. Uh, so what I'm going to do as regards to my web store at the moment, so I'm not gonna run any Black Friday or anything like that uh, sales. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is that uh, from now until the end of the year I'm going to offer 20% off of all of my leather wallets and uh, field notes journals and uh, also on the barrel brands beard oils or hair and skin oils 
uh, I'm going to offer 10% of all of those. There's 10 different expressions to uh, to go through and find out about and uh, I, I can happily recommend every single one of them. Not just for my own pocket because I don't really make an awful lot of money out of them. Um, yeah, so that's going to run to the end of the year. Uh, it's something that I wanted to uh, kind of offer and uh, you know, it's coming up to Christmas. If you want to look and buy yourself or any of your loved ones a nice bit of uh, leather work, then um, I can do my best for you. Uh, what I also wanted to say is that if you see something on the website uh, or you've seen something on my Instagram, which is at the bearded underdog, uh, that, that's not on the website, and you're interested or diff in different leathers or something like that, hit me up with an email or send me a DM on Instagram. I reply really quickly, uh, as soon as I see it, basically, and uh, you know, we'll get something done for you. And uh, you know, I'm always too happy to like kind of speak to anybody, not just for custom like business. Right, I think I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna smoke the rest of my pipe. I'm gonna go outside and uh, feed some hungry little squirrels out there. Uh, so, I think there's nothing else to say. So without further ado, I'll let you get on with your busy lives. Hopefully they're not too busy and you can find something of happiness uh, in each day. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. I've already got the idea lined up. So uh, until then, take care, be cool and be happy. Cheers. <laughs>